Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Giants! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Head kick partially blocked. Nice head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, man, how many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscience? One, normally, this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleeping. That is, oh, man, this 
dude is good. Big elbow. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the right. Lee's kick is blocked. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. He is all about that left kick to the body. Left hand punch to the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, rips the body shot there. Head kick lands. Beautiful strike. Nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting ads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Big head kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Back and forth we go here. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, huge elbow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Both guys landing with conviction now. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet. And to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, Round two straight ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hates to be overly critical, but nothing.
nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make them pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this way. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, big punch land. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, head kick. Blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. There's no give on that leg. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Goes back to that left kick once again. Straight right, he misses. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. He's going to get himself knocked out. You got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Ooh, what a punch. Flush right hand is true. All right, he gave him a single collar tie. Oh, nice job to slip off the center. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just over two minutes now to go. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up Whoa! the pace here in round two. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Under a minute now in round two. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he mean? Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. You gotta be careful, arm ball. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Punch over the top. some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round.
You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Able to check the high kick. Visibly limping here. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. Again, they clinch. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Just look at him whip his hip into that kick. Leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Head kick. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Oh! Wow! Wow! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the giant! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.